I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. I wanted to show you how to make this really pretty musical note flower center piece. And this is a very elegant piece. We've put it into a bed spring and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But it's really nice for a woman's party of some kind as well as a beautiful elegant centerpiece for a wedding. So let's show you how we did it. To start with, I'm going to talk a little bit about my bed spring. I went on eBay or the internet and ordered them. So there's a bunch of different kinds. I wanted one that was sturdy, that would stand by itself. You may have to bend it just a little bit to make it stand really sturdy. Also, I wanted one that was more the hourglass shaped, going from big to little back to big. And, but see how thick and sturdy it is. I know some people have also made theirs, but I don't have that thick enough wire or patient enough to bend it that hard. And just look for the best price, and it's going to depend on how many you want as well. Well, the next thing I did is I took some sheet music. Thrift Store is a great place for sheet music. And then I used some colored uh, paper. And this is your bigger size like you have in the construction paper size. And what I did is because I am doing a wedding and I need 24 of these, I went to a school supply warehouse where I could just buy one color. So if you need one color, that's fine. If you need more colors, um, if you need a bunch of different colors and maybe just a con um, a book of all the different colors will do it for you. And then we're just going to fold this really tight and we're going to start in the middle. And I'm not even going to worry about these holes punched down here. We're going to start to bend this and get our cone shape. And I just am bending it till this passes that part right there. I still got my cone shape a little bit tight at the bottom and so you still have all that purple showing and that just really helps set off your flowers as well and I am going to staple this right there in the back once and then I am going to tape this one right here so one staple and one piece of scotch tape once I've finished my comb you want to make sure it in, fits into your spring. And if you need to adjust that at all, this is the time to figure it out before you do too many. But the next thing I did is I took some stones or rocks. You can use the glass uh, floral filler. You can find those for usually for a buck. Look at your dollar store. But to weight that down and see how much nicer that sound stands up now. So that's how we're going to do that. We're also going to leave our stems longer to fit into our cone shape. And I picked my flowers up at Hobby Lobby and I know they're always changing. First of all, never buy your flowers until they go on 50% off. They allow for that and that's how we can afford them because they get really expensive. These were $8.00. They ended up being $4 because they were 50% off. But what was really nice about these, there was 12 of them. So I can use this 12 times. So that really makes a big difference. And these also had these little white fillers. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But you want to cut and use all of your leaves. They're going to help it stand up in our little cone. And we want to cut these long enough that these are going to go down in there instead of just sinking all the way to the bottom. So we want to think about that. So I did um, a light rose and a darker rose. And then I found this just a really simple lilac. And so we're going to have our three main flowers. And when you're working with floral arrangements and um, 
putting things together like that, you should always think of sets of three. It's nature's way. If you ever look at a flower, the petals are usually five or seven or different things like that. But nature's never even when it comes to flowers. Now some of these had these little filler flowers on, but we need a little bit more of our filler flowers. And I, we always have those white flowers that are kind of... Um, basic but they're a little bit more like a daisy and they were just too much this little part these little white flowers and I would have never normally picked them on their own but they look really good so we're going to use that as our filler flower and I want to bring that guy down this guy up I want my purple light purple one on top and I want my darker one to the left and my lilac to the right. Now we've got to move leaves up or down so that we can get in here with our floral tape. And I'm going to add a little bit more to this, but kind of make sure your filler flower is a filler and not overtaking. This is would be your baby's breath in a flower arrangement. It just really adds a lot to it. And I'm just going to wrap these. I've got one that's sneaking away here. Nice and tight. The tighter you get this and pull it, the better it is. Okay, and we're going to still add one more part to it here, but I found it easier for me to tape this part first. And we're going to add a um, top to it where it kind of sticks out and I have some little tulips that I really liked and this is really out by itself so it's not really even number it's three and one and this is going to stick up higher and we want these tufts up here so it just really gives it that spring bouquet kind of feel and I should have cut his tail a little bit longer because he's got to stick up at the top. And I've also done him first and just done him to the lilac flower first and then put the rest of the flowers on. So either way, whatever works for you. Then go ahead and do that. And you can see I have left all of my flowers. But isn't that um, add so much more to that? Now these leaves are going to help fill this all in and hold them in place while they're in the cone. Another thing I added to this was the little pearl beads. Now you want, you find these in the... Um, ribbon section of the store and just cut them varying lengths so they're not all the same lengths but I do want you to think about if you want white or if you want antique white and these are ivory or an off-white my other one is white because my flowers are white but my paper is a little bit yellowed so think about that and you may want one or the other for that I'm going to move those guys up a little bit and then we're going to just, just simply take our cone and we're going to stick it in. Now you may want to shorten those up. You don't want to stick it in where you lose your flowers but you definitely want them tucked in and that is how we make that real simple flower arrangements and those would be just great for our wedding or 
women's party or anniversary or all kinds of wonderful fun things. So you can see the difference between the two beads and another thing I found that I really liked is I had some feathers and I just put one real wispy just adds a real elegant feel to it. Some other thoughts or you could tie a tool bow around these and I'm actually tying a tulle bow in the back and hanging these on the pews uh, beforehand as well and using them twice in this wedding that I am doing. You also could just tie a regular ribbon bow around it and a small one here or onto your spring as well. So there's a great amount of possibilities and I can't wait to use these springs again to make Santa's or different fun things as well so there's a lot of different options for these if you ever have any questions about anything we've done please email me at art at miriamjoy.com give us a thumbs up on our video subscribe and please share so we can continue to grow and do more great videos for you thank you god bless